Hi students, in this session we are going to solve some problems based on electron gain enthalpy and ionization enthalpy which is a part of periodicity of class 11. Okay, let's go into the examples. The electron gain enthalpy of chlorine is 3.7 electron volts. Then how much energy in kilocalories is released when 2 grams of chlorine is completely converted into Cl minus ion. See students what happened here? Cl by gaining electron is converting into Cl minus ion. Here from the given data 3.7 electron volts energy is released when 1 mole of chlorine is ionized. Right. Then what is asking here? The energy is calculated in it should be calculated in kilocalories when 2 grams of chlorine is completely converted into Cl minus ion. So here the weight of chlorine is given and you have to convert it into number of moles what is the number of moles formula weight by molecular weight what is the weight given here 2 grams by what is the molecular weight of chlorine 35.5 grams per mole you will get 0 0.056 moles right so now by cross multiplication you can calculate very easily for one mole it released 3.7 electron moles for given moles 0 0.56 moles of chlorine how much energy is released you can calculate it into directly 3.7 you will get 0 0.0.2072 right this is energy released when 2 grams of chlorine is converted into Cl minus ion but you should calculate the energy in kilocalorie so you have to know the conversions like 1 electron volt equal to 23.06 kilocalories per mole right if it is not given in uh, question you have to remember this we discussed about these conversations in earlier videos very detailed okay so now you have to multiply it with 2702 into 23.06 you will get finally 4.77 something and you can round it like 4.8 kilocalories this is the way to calculate the ionization energy in kilocalories if it, the question is asked to calculate in kilojoules you have to multiply it with into 96 point something you have the value you know one electron volt equal to that's that much kilojoules Let's move into another example. The question is the ionization enthalpy of lithium is 520 kilojoules per mole. Calculate the amount of energy required to convert 140 mg of lithium atoms in gaseous state into LA, LA plus ions. So first you have to calculate the number of moles from the given data. Here the weight of lithium is given that is 140 mg right. But you have to calculate number of moles by gram per gram divided by gram per mole that is the formula no so you have to convert it into milligrams into grams how much it will be 140 into 1 gram equal to 1000 milligrams so 140 into minus 10 power minus 3 grams this can be modified into 14 into 10 power minus 2 grams right so when you calculate the number of moles here so the weight equal to 14 into 10 power minus 2 grams by what is the weight of lithium almost 6.9 something right so you, you can have 7 so directly how much you will get 2.10 per minus 2 moles from the given data you can calculate directly for 1 mole of lithium the ionization enthalpy is for 1 mole of lithium will gives you 520 kilojoules per mole ionization energy ionization enthalpy you can say for this much moles of lithium how much energy will require you have to calculate more cross multiplication 520 into 2 into 10 power minus 2 by 1 right finally you get the answer 10.4 kilojoules see students it will take hardly 2 minutes if you know the process okay let's move into another question see the next question ionization enthalpy of lithium is 5.4 electron volts and electron gain enthalpy of chlorine is 3.6 electron volts so you have given two atoms here right calculate delta h in kilocalories per mole for the reaction the reaction is given see students this is very common question used to ask in um, exams 
you have the condition like this reaction is carried on at low pressures so ions do not combine with each other so you when you have this type of question you have to write down the given overall reaction into two partial reactions what will the partial reactions lithium gas gives rise to lithium plus plus electrons lithium loss one electron to become li plus ion right what is the given value for this reaction delta e1 equal to 5.4 electron volts okay then what is the next partial equation cl minus ion sorry cl cl gases atom gain electron and become cl minus so here what is the electron gain enthalpy given 3.6 electron volt so from the given value the first reaction ionization enthalpy is 5.4 electron volts and delta e equal to 3.6 electron volts from this you have to calculate delta h of this reaction delta h is nothing but the energy difference between the two partial equations what is the energy difference between these two 5.4 minus 3.6 you will get 1.8 electron volts but you should calculate this in in kilocalorie per mole right so now you have to convert this 1.8 electron volts will be 1.8 into how many it becomes 23.06 because one electron volt equal to 23.06 kilocalorie per mole this is the conversion right so you will get orally 9 sorry 41.508 kilocalorie per mole this is the answer got it students next one see this question for a gaseous reaction k plus f gives rise to k plus plus f minus and for this reaction delta h is given in 19 kilocalories per mole right then the ionization energy of potassium is given that is 4.3 electron volt then what is the electron gain enthalpy of f um, the condition is the cations anions do not combine with each other see students like the previous question when you have seen this type of condition in the question you have to write down the overall equation into two partial equations the overall equation is k plus f gives rise to k plus plus f minus right so the partial equations will be k gives rise to k plus plus electron this is a metal right it loses electrons f plus electron minus gives rise to f minus these are two partial possible partial equations now for this equation the whole equation delta h is given here right 19 kilocalorie per mole then one of the data tells us that ionization enthalpy of potassium is that means e1 equal to 4.3 electron volts okay then you have to calculate electron gain enthalpy of the fluorine that will be how much okay from these three you can calculate delta h equal to delta e1 minus delta e2 this is the equation but here one data is given in kilocalories and another data is given in electron volts so you should convert into kilocalories right so delta h is given in kilocalories that is 19 kilocalories right 19 kilocalorie per mole so now delta e1 is given in 4.3 volts and delta e2 should be calculated in kilocalories per mole according to the question so you have to convert it what is the value of l1 electron volt equal to 23.06 kilocalorie per mole so for this difference you have to multiply it with 0 23.06 what is delta e1 minus delta e2 i'll write it again 23.06 what is delta e1 here 4.3 minus e2 you can say delta e2 okay this is 19 so 19 by 23.06 equal to 4.3 minus delta e2 this whole thing will be 0. Point, how much you'll get how much you'll get 0. 0.82 minus 4.3 equal to delta e2 minus so final answer will be delta e2 that is electron gain enthalpy of fluorine equal to minus 3.48 kilo calorie per mole why delta equal to minus it is electron gain enthalpy fluorine gain some electrons and it acquires negative sign why because it is electron gain enthalpy okay students got this these are problems based on ionization enthalpy and electron gain enthalpy thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you like it